Um, and that is Final Fantasy Type-0. This game just came out last Tuesday for PS4 and Xbox One. It is a remake of a PSP game. Not a remake, I shouldn't say. An HD remastering of a PSP game that was released only in Japan uh, back in 2011. Now, this is part yeah, whichever of... whichever one was kind of confused why they were only releasing it in Japan at the time. Um, Still but I guess sense. it was popular enough. They, it came over, finally. So Well, and I'm glad it did. I'm glad it did. Now... Playing it, you can tell it's a PSP game, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a very entertaining game. Was it PSP game. or was it PS Vita? PSP, not even a Vita. Vita came second. PSP came first, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it was a PSP game. Uh, and and I have been streaming it, so if you do want to watch a little bit of it, I think I'll stream for about an hour after I get off of this show. Uh, the Twitch channel, Words My Face, I will be there streaming, so go ahead and watch me if you want to. Um, but it is very entertaining, it, it kind of it falls in with the interesting Final Fantasy mythos of the Fabula Crystalos Nova, Crystalis Nova series, which is where Final Fantasy 13, 13 2, and 13 3 all come from. It's also where Final Fantasy 15 is going to come from, which was originally titled Final Fantasy Versus. And this was they originally na- announced three games. They were, were announced 13, 13 Versus, and 13 Agito. So this one is 13 Agito. Which the thirteen, the core one was pretty terrible. Oh, I I love the combat system in the first in the thirteen, but everything else about it I almost I almost hated. Didn't really like the characters; they weren't that cool. But I loved the fighting. I liked the summons, but it was just so linear and so on rails that it, it just drove me nuts. Which is why I do like Final Fantasy Type Zero. It really takes you away from that. Um, but just to get in a little bit of the the game. It focuses on a group of 14 cadets um, from this one military academy who are forced into action when their eh, country, faction, state, whatever you want to call it, is invaded by another faction. So this world is set up. There are four main factions. Each one of them has their own crystal. And this crystal gives that area um, or that country certain abilities. Uh, like So going back to the old crystal setup from, from the really old games, yeah. I, haven't, I guess that... I, did yeah, they do the crystals in nine? They went back to crystals in nine for a little uh, bit. Right? I think crystals has something to do with it, but not not too much. But yeah, the numbers one through four, back. numbers yeah. one through four, all were about crystals. And I'm talking about one through four. Might have also mentioned crystals. One through five. I'm talking about the Japanese numbers. And yeah. The numbers, but not ours. Um, but yeah, so you have the Dominion of Rubrum is invaded by the Militacy. Empire, and you can tell that the Militussi are evil because their name is Military Empire. I mean, come on. So pretty much any empire in, yeah, in Final Fantasy games, empires are usually pretty bad. Yeah, but the Dominion that doesn't sound much better. I can't think of one thing <laughs> when I was reading this. Well, I mean, playing the game, I was like, why do they call themselves the Dominion? That sounds bad too. Maybe they're not all the good Dominion? either. Yeah, well, they might not. They be. do that sometimes, where the side you're fighting for is also bad. No, that's true. Okay. That is true. So you're invaded by the Militesi Empire, and they have this thing that blocks the crystals. Um, it's they call it the crystal blocker. Wow, um, but it blocks the crystals from giving the powers to the army or the people of said region. So Militesi invades Rubrum. They drop this crystal blocker, and suddenly the army is totally ineffective. They can't do anything against the Militesi. Uh, so what happens? They had no backup plan. Well, they did, um, because then you you meet the Type Zero cadets. These guys come in. They don't need the power of the crystal to use their magic and and everything. So they come in and they they beat them back and beat them back and beat them back, and that's kind of the start of the whole thing. And it's a very interesting the way they tell the story. It's told through missions and they have little cutscenes here and there. It's done pretty well. Um, and uh, what it, you have little moments of FP, F, I'm sorry, RTS, where you have to retake cap, uh, c- captured territory. A lot of it, though, is played in. It's a very not unique, but unique for the Final Fantasy series. It's like a mixture of combat between the Tales games, like Tales of Vesperia, Tales of uh, Zillia. Uh, plenty of Tales games, and Kingdom Hearts. So you're running around, you're locking onto characters, you're fighting them, you're not button mashing, if you button mash, you kind of blow what you're doing, and you can step back and you can switch between main characters, and it's a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy the combat. And so that's that's where it goes from there. Now, overall, I've enjoyed the game uh, immensely. I thought it's been entertaining, engaging, 
The story's been good. Each one of the characters is unique, but there are 14 of them, so it's hard to quite identify with all of them. And now I'm only, like, chapter 4 or something like that, so I'm not that far into the game, but it makes it a little harder to identify with each one of them. Um, but that's not too bad. Again, they could they can in bring that up better as it goes on. Uh, love the combat system. It's, it's a lot of fun. If I had to make a couple complaints, number one is they have this really weird camera. Now, the camera's not bad. You do control it. You swivel it side to side. But every time you move it, like, you can't slow down how the camera moves. So it moves really fast no matter what. But there's this weird blur in the background. And honestly, sometimes I'll be spinning the camera around to, to look for other enemies, locking on different enemies here and there. And I'll get, like, dizzy by the way the camera blurs and spins, blurs and spins, you know, and it's just... Mm. It gets kind of distracting. Just, there's no settings to, to adjust the speed or anything? I have looked, my friend. I have looked. But, um, and then, and this isn't a huge complaint, but the, the characters' mouths don't match up with the words that they're saying, which is kind of annoying, but it's not that bad. That actually really kind of, that would really annoy me because they can fix that easy. That's something you really need to... And that's what happened when X uh, Remastered came out. They had the weird mouth. That sounds thing. like they probably just they left it at whatever it was for the Japanese and just threw in the audio. Didn't bother yeah. doing any adjustments on the on the um, tran when translating the video. Yeah. So. And um, and then you know most of the environments are beautiful. Uh, well, at least when you're running through the main school uh, where the cadets live. The the walls look amazing. The textures are great. The main characters look pretty good. But you can tell it's a PSP game. It's like they went through, they shined up a couple things, and then left some things the exact same. Kind of felt like I was playing Final Fantasy X for a while when you're looking at, you're talking to some NPC character, and they look exactly like PlayStation 2 graphics, which was what PSP had. So they touched up some things, and they left some things alone. Now, you have to pay $60 for this game. Is it a $60 game? I'd be a lot happier saying it was a... 30 or $40 game would be a lot more worth it. But if you got it launch day, or you might still be able to get a copy out there, you get a, a demo of Final Fantasy 15 episode Dusque is what they call it. And that's pretty awesome. So <laughs> I know a lot of that makes like, it a little bit better. They've been doing that. They've been doing that since the, the 360 did that to, to play Halo 3, but I can't really see that as a reasonable motivator to get a game too early or pay more for a game that could be now, bad. Now, Episode because... Dusque does have like 10 hours of gameplay in it. Okay. I mean, that that does make it 10 hours worth. That, that's, that's, a, that's a sizable demo. I mean, that's you doing every little thing you can possibly do and exploring every little part. But you could get about 10 hours out of it. So... But still, like... I just have to wait, and that game's going to come out. It's a demo. I should get the demo for free anywhere. Like I don't ha shouldn't have to get the I game agree. to get the demo. I agree. <laughs> I mean, I'm just it's saying it softens to be the blow. Promoting the game. Come on. So <laughs> it softens the blow a little bit. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't erase it. It just softens the blow a little bit. But all in all, I've I've enjoyed my time with Final Fantasy Type Zero. I will continue playing it again. I'm going to go ahead and stream it. You'll find me on streaming. Our Twitch channel is Words from My Face. Oh. I wonder how we came up with that one. But um, you will see me on Twitch every now and then. I do like to stream those games. And you'll see me streaming Destiny from time to time. I do like to show some people my character. And maybe maybe you'll see me stream from time to time. Maybe. You never know. It might. You might. You might. You never know. You you might play more retro. Or maybe. Can you can you stream on your Wii U? Um, I, I'm sure there's a way to. Because I've seen people do it. Well, yeah. Well, there's a way to stream Nintendo, but that, does that make it easy? No. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So check us out there. But have you played Final Fantasy Type Zero yet? What do you think? Hit us up. Comments down below, of course. At what's my face on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.